Hi, it's day 23 of Inktober Tangles Challenge 2023. And today's tangle is Tangle Ruse by Osvaldo Burbano. And it's quite an easy tangle, even though it looks complicated. I will try to nest it here somewhere. And starting with this zigzag line, I think I might do I don't know, two to start with. And then you start adding these lines that go from one peak to the other. And I don't have another peak above this, but it's fine. I'm just adding this line anyway. And then I will do the same from the peak towards the lower one and it doesn't matter that the lines are not um, symmetric um, or that they are not parallel to each other uh, that's what i wanted to say it's really irrelevant now i'm going to put some caps uh, let's call them caps to these and i'm starting around the space where this line touches the peak. And this is where I'm starting growing these caps. And I will do it consistently. I haven't tried it before, of course. It's always, you know, the same. Now that I have one, I can add the other one. And the thing is, they're going to reach towards each other. So I'm going to start this one here. And the next one. So I'm kind of going for this continuous line. Um, but it's fine if I don't succeed at it. Here I don't have the line, but I will do it anyway. And then another one right here. And maybe something that kind of grows from here, or at least there is an implication of growth. And I'm not sure what to do about these. Um, I think I will do just the peaks without doing the ones that should go into the other direction. It's just kind of trying to find a way to, to finish it. And then um, I need to extend the ones that I started with and just ink in. Oops, I went a little bit over the line here, but luckily I have my white gel pen. Now I'm inking in those uh, spaces between these little peaks and I will do it of course on the bottom part too and what Osvaldo then suggests is to add a line on top of each of these straight lines that I started with. I think I might need some more black here, maybe even here, so that there's a better balance between these black shapes. And it's easy, you know, when you can play with adding some more, much easier than when you have too much then I would be zoomed <laughs> well not really if I wasn't happy with it I would find a way to make it look better so now I need to finish these lines and I think that 
I will go with kind of a rice shape on top. I could have done a better job with placing these lines exactly in the middle or placing these peaks exactly around uh, the line but again not here to try to achieve perfection because we know it's not possible I will also add the rounding to these lines which is not the part or a part of the original step out but rounding is just something I gravitate towards I'm thinking about even adding the rounding to this bottom part well let's do it since I'm having the rounding party here Okay, I will now do the rounding on the bottom too. And now I have also these, hmm. Maybe I can add something to this just to make it look a little bit more consistent with what I have done around. Basically, if you are not filling the whole tile, then you have to find a way to extend it either to into a new tangle or you know somehow finish these lines and this is what I'm doing it might not be the best solution but it is my solution now I will start adding the shade so I think I will start first by adding the shades you know typical Zen tangle way around the neighboring tangles because I'm hiding this and then around these sections that are placed on top of other sections so I'm kind of enhancing this over and under placement of tangles and certain parts of those tangles so this is just the beginning and then I will take a look at it and see if I want to add some more I will leave this without any because I might place a tangle here uh, later. I'm not sure. I'll see what comes next in the following days and how I will place it in this remaining space. I'm not pre-planning anything here. Not any of these tangles or the design and placement of the many tangles that I'm placing inside the tile. Uh, so this is the first thing I'm starting with. And then I might add some more. So I will try to do it consistently and add some shade below. I will start first with this line. You can see how I'm holding this pen at a low angle. Adding these shades. And I might also do it. So I'm making decisions as I go. one step at a time. It's like Zentangles 
one stroke at a time principle. So kind of um, applying it to the shading process too. Just trying to decide what works as I go, not overthinking it. And now to enhance that even more, I will add highlights. And the way to increase these contrasts is always to add the highlights opposite on the opposite side of the line from where the shades are the darkest or the most intensive. It might not be, you know, the technical the right technical way to shade if if you are applying the shading theory but i'm not so it's not my intention to do that i'm just playing with the shades and with these contrasts to enhance the tangles These, some of these spaces are really narrow, so I might have problems with blending the white highlights without muting the black lines. I'm trying not to. Maybe just a little bit here on, on the bottom. And I will just go along the line because there's nothing below, but I might later add some tangles. And if they are hidden behind this, or if parts of them are hidden behind roofs, then this will also be a good solution for highlighting. Because I will place the darkest shades then on the opposite side of this black line where I'm now highlighting. Okay, I see that I need some white right here. And I also need some black below that line. I don't know how I forgot it, but here I'm fixing it now. So I'm trying now to you know, taking a moment to look at the whole uh, thing once again, instead of focusing on these little details and decide if I need some shiniest highlights with my white jelly roll. So I think I will just add a little bit of the shiniest highlights to these tops of my rounded peaks and you know it's not that i couldn't work on this more but i am i am trying to keep this short and approachable and manageable like bite-sized tangling so I'm going to call it done now and I will see you tomorrow.